Gemini. Hi, Aquarius. Welcome. This is Gemini and Aquarius love tarot reading. This is a Gemini in a relationship with an Aquarius tarot reading. Gemini and Aquarius compatibility tarot reading. Uh, this is a Gemini dealing with an Aquarius in love and it's a tarot reading. We're going to be doing the divine masculine aspect of the Gemini Aquarius relationship dynamic. We're going to be doing the divine feminine aspect of the Gemini Aquarius relationship dynamic. The spirit behind the Gemini Aquarius relationship dynamic and my personal deck. There's 200 cards, handwritten love letters. And that is uh, for both the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine. So let's start with the spirit behind the Gemini and Aquarius relationship. I need one card for Gemini and Aquarius. All right, so there's a storm warning. There could be an ending coming. Yeah, there's a lot of a lot of uh, lightning and very a lot of emotions. There's a lot of emotions, two forces, two opposing forces coming together. I see a new beginning here, though. I see an ending and then a new beginning. Here's the divine masculine aspect of the Gemini Aquarius relationship dynamic. And, you know, if you're, say I'm a biological female and I identify as a female. And I was uh, in a relationship with a biological male who identifies as a male. But I, as a female, identify more with the divine masculine. It's just the energy behind it. So it's not, it's not a gender. It's just an energy. It's a more giving energy. Yeah, it's a more giving energy. And the feminine is a more receptive energy. All right, I need three cards for the divine masculine. Divine feminine. All right. And then this is my personal deck. It's just index cards, and I'm just going to keep adding to them as I get downloaded messages. But these are just 200 downloaded messages that I've had, and I just, I've been uh, writing them on cue cards. So I may add to this as we go along. for a Gemini and Aquarius relationship dynamic. What does the Divine Masculine want to say about this relationship? Divine Masculine about this relationship. One card, please. One card. Thank you. All right, Divine Feminine. One card for what you want to say about this relationship, please. Okay. All right, um, so now we're going to go into the mirror. This is the best part. When we go into the mirror, we reveal the cards that didn't show themselves and read the cards that did. So we're going into the mirror. Come with me and you'll see inside enchanted mirror tarot. Look inside, you can't hide from enchanted mirror tarot. Welcome, Gemini and Aquarius in love. This is your relationship tarot reading.
for past, present, and future in the divine masculine aspect of the Gemini Aquarius relationship dynamic and the divine feminine aspect of the Gemini and Aquarius relationship dynamic. We were crowned here by a storm warning where there was an ending that's going to bring about a new beginning as we transition into the future. Two opposing forces. In the past, in the divine masculine aspect, we have temperance, which is a major life event. This is a time of rebalancing, a time of healing, seeking wise counsel here as we take a bad situation and we transmute it into something positive. We're rebalancing, regrouping, and we're very optimistic about the future here and we're moving into the present and I see that we're building something here in the divine masculine aspect of the Aquarius Gemini relationship dynamic you're building something solid something long lasting you're taking your time because you don't want this to end you know, this is really outside of both of your energies because this is earth and your air. You flow in and out. You are the air that goes into my lungs, out of my lungs. And then this is earth. This is the front yard. The front yard doesn't want to move. The front yard is perfectly happy just being the front yard. So this is very outside of your comfort zone for both of you in the divine masculine aspect of this relationship and there's a lot of stability that you're gaining a lot of grounding but it, it feels very uncomfortable the divine masculine aspect of this relationship wants to say I lied when I said I didn't love you the divine feminine aspect of this relationship in the past there was sudden change. It was just unavoidable. This is another major life event. You know, things just happened. Very uncomfortable. There, there was a lot of being uncomfortable. But you know what comes after the tower? The star. When there's a relief from struggle, a time to heal. And I see that... That's what the Divine Masculine is doing, rebalancing, regrouping. They're about to enter something very toxic, though. So they need to really follow their intuition here. And I see that the Divine Feminine is refusing to let things go. This is a major life event. You know, the, there's a lot of passion, a lot of, like, magnetism here. But you know what happens when the caterpillar refuses to leave their cocoon? They die. They die. So there's some changes that we're going to need to make in order to move forward because right now the divine feminine can't the divine feminine cannot move forward until there's some changes that are made the divine masculine is moving forward the songs I hear are guiding me to you that's what the divine feminine aspect of this relationship, the Aquarius Gemini, is saying. The songs I hear are guiding me to you. There's sudden change in the past. It was painful. It was unavoidable. It, we had to go through it. It's like this n necessary right of way. And now I'm holding on. I can't let go. I can't let something new happen. There's a storm brewing, and I'm holding myself back. I, I need to move forward here, but I'm holding myself back. I'm holding on to this that happened in the past, this sudden change. And the divine masculine aspect 
you know, is rebalancing. It's very uncomfortable, but they're moving forward and they're doing something that's going to be long lasting. They're transitioning right out of this. They're moving towards love. You know, the divine feminine aspect of the Gemini Aquarius relationship dynamic needs to come out of the cocoon and burst forth and transform. Transform into something more beautiful, something more light. Y you can't stay in this. You have to transform. You have to burst forth and let it go. Let it go. They're walking away from you. They're walking away. They're they're making something more solid. Where are we going to? Where are we where are we moving to in this relationship? In the divine masculine. I see that they're looking at the divine feminine and they're manifesting it back. We have number one on the fool's journey, the magician. Following dreams, golden opportunities, that that initial spark. This is Gemini's power card. This is ruled by Mercury and the element of air. It's number one where we have this new beginning. And the divine feminine is holding on carrying the weight of the world on its shoulders. There's just a lack of closure here. There's a lack of closure. You know, to, to be successful in here, to avoid disaster... You know, you have to listen to your intuition. The songs you're hearing on the radio, random songs on TikTok, they're guiding you. They're guiding you to where you need to be so you can have success. So you can have love. You're being divinely guided. And the divine masculine is trying to manifest you in your best. But the way that you're going with being obsessed and holding on to this and refusing to grow is really repelling the divine masculine away. So what you need to do is burst forth from your cocoon, transform from the lessons that you learned, and have that graduation day. Begin something new. Allow yourself to move on. Because the divine masculine will then manifest you back in your best. But as of right now, the way that you're going, the divine feminine is, is completely stuck in the past and not growing from this. And there's a storm brewing. But if the divine feminine does the work, this can be resolved. And the work is on themselves and not focusing on the divine masculine. Let the divine masculine focus on them. Both Aquarius and Gemini would be very uncomfortable in the divine masculine position of this relationship. However, Gemini would be more comfortable because this is Gemini's power card. And this is, this is really big. This is a major life event for both of you. But you're on different paths. The divine feminine aspect. Oh, this would be Aries energy. This is Scorpio energy. So we have a lot of Mars, a lot of sex, a lot of fighting, a lot of arguing, a lot of competition. And then we have the world, which is ruled by Saturn. It could be it could be all because it's 
21 it's the completion it could be pisces because it ends the major arcana it could also um, be capricorn because it's ruled by saturn however first decan pisces are ruled by saturn as well neptune jupiter saturn all rule pisces so there's a lot of water energy here, a lot of uh, emotion, a lot of spirituality, a lot of a spiritual bond. In the feminine aspect, in the masculine, there's energy, there's sexual attraction, there's money, there's stability, there's um, communication. That's what I see in the masculine aspect. So, you know, you have everything that you need right here to manifest it. All of the elements are at play. You're, ve you're a very balanced relationship, even though you're more communicative. I feel like you're very balanced, but you have some issues. And one of the major issues is the control issues that the divine feminine aspect of this relationship has they they need to take some time out in order to transform and allow and trust and have faith in the divine masculine and let them you know sit in the driver's seat for a little bit let them run the show and just have faith and, and quit trying to control everything and allow these songs to guide you because you are getting di like divinely guided, especially with temperance here. All right. If you enjoyed that and you'd like to see more, please consider subscribing to my channel. I do do daily shorts. I've customized my whole front page, so I have a uh, folder for all, a playlist for all twelve um, zodiac signs. So you're, if you're Gemini or you're Aquarius, you can just go to my front page and scroll down until you see Gemini, and I put all of the videos I've done pertaining to Gemini in there. All of my daily shorts, live streams, and upcoming live streams are at the bottom of the playlist and all of my bigger videos like uh, monthlies yearlies these videos the relationship will all be towards the top of the playlist and it's just an ongoing pay playlist and I do update it every single day um, so I highly encourage you to check that out I also have playlists like I do uh pick a cards but it's like a pick a video so you go into the playlist and it's like there's a theme like um snowflake oracle so it's just like random messages from the snowflake oracle and then you just pick the uh video you want or who am i going to marry and then you just pick the video that you want it's all on playlists um i have a lot of playlists i have meditations i have um like real pick a cards like you see other people doing that are all in one video Video. I have those all in a playlist. There's, I, I highly encourage you to check out my playlist. My videos are a jumbled mess. I've done thousands uh, because I've been on this platform for four years now. So I highly encourage you to subscribe to my channel. And also, please like, comment, and share if you did like this. It does help support this channel. My name's Serafina Safi, and I present Enchanted Mirror Tarot. Thank you so much.